Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 10 series of my generic brand Galaxy Scenario. It is a glorious day, so I put a happy face on Finn. <laughs> because he's going to get a big, big brother that's about to be born. So... Um, hmm. just gonna spawn it out in the wild here because, yeah, so it is ready to go. We have cooked up the Camel Shack Evolved 0.5 from whatever it is, Alpha 8, Alpha 7, I can't remember. So it is ready to go. Uh, it was literally a one second production time because of all the blocks we put in so let's spawn it and where should we spawn it um, okay so it's deceivingly it's like spawning like a billion miles away wow okay so let's okay whatever We'll do it there. So, yeah, I know she don't look like much from the back. She's just a big box from the back. Let me give you the grand tour. And she is not ready yet. But, okay, it's hard to do it justice when it's all dark. But here we go. This is the Camel Shack Evolved. She's got a lot of space on her. She's got multiple potential cockpit areas. Now, she'll fly right now, and she can warp, but she's got no... Um, she's got no weapons on her. And she has not been converted to Alpha 10, so she needs all the upgrades. So here we go, a fly-through hangar. Double 7x14 hangar bay doors, and then it's also double thickness to match the double thickness hull of combat steel. Not that this thing is going to be combat vehicle really but it'll be capable of taking a crap ton of damage <laughs> okay so let's uh visit this so yeah this is just a big opening here but that's because it actually has a force field across the top of it so this will be like a an emergency landing bay for svs to come in and we can either go and get into it from there or we can rush up to the cockpit up here so let's um take it take you on a tour there and put that back on so actually you know what i'll just go back into first person if you guys don't mind it's a little it's just easier to navigate around without the camera flipping around and freaking out um so this is yeah i know it's all dark but i can see down into the hangar bay it is a massive hangar bay uh we might actually be able to fly our other cv through it <laughs> okay so let's go check you can see there's a lot of work to do i mean i, I haven't decoed any of it yet so we've got one cockpit up here and I don't really know what this cockpit would be. I guess a maneuvering, a standard maneuvering cockpit, probably not the battle cockpit or maybe the battle cockpit. I don't know. I don't think it would be because it's not. This up here is not a double thickness hull. And I'm thinking downstairs. So let's take a look down. Oh. Okay, stop it. We can go out the back here too. So we can get in through here 
So I know it's probably an overkill uh, hanger, but I don't think so because I'm gonna have a cup. I'm gonna have a bunch of large vehicles in here that are gonna be taking up space. So okay, so we need to do something about this. We're gonna remove these, and we're gonna be putting. Uh, cargo and cargo extensions up. Okay, so let's go inside. I'll show you inside here. So it's a little kludgy, I know. Okay, stop it. Normally, with the uh, um, gravity generators on and the lights on, we could see better too, I guess. You know what? Let's fuel this up. Let's do it. Let's fuel this up. <clears throat> okay, so. Can we, I think we can just go like this and then, yeah, the base and fuel. That's going to take all of it and just be at 50%. Oh, well, that's not bad. Oh, there we go. Temperature out, rose right away. Yeah, so this is not going to be, I'm going to change this. This is just way too big of a garden for me. I'll modify it. It's 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 overkill. Um, this is not really a single person ship. It's more meant for uh, multiplayer, and that's what I actually built it on. So here we go. This will be. I gotta remove. I'm not sure if I'm gonna remove this and put in the cargo extension style, or maybe leave these in here. And do the cargo extension style out in the cargo bay. Uh, although this is where the crafting room is and my mats and all that. You know what? I'll probably remove these and put them all out in the cargo bay. Does that make more sense? And then have have a couple of really huge cargo controllers with all extensions through here. And we don't need six. This is see. This is meant for multiplayer, so we don't need six advanced constructors. <laughs> so, yeah, I know it's a waste of mats, but not really because we're going to be using some more stuff when we. Uh... So here's the front section with the windows. Um, I'm thinking this is more, I mean, even though it's only single thickness windows, they are the heavier windows. I'm thinking this would be more of a combat bridge. So we've got to flesh a lot of these areas out on the ship. Um, okay, so where, how else do we get around here? Where was, there's, there's hidden freaking elevators and shit, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I built the ship and I can't remember it. Okay. Um, and yeah, we got a texture. I mean, sure, it's just, I just did a basic texture and paint job on it for now, but we can decorate it up. There's no deco anything. No deco yet. So let's head up. So here we go. This is engineering. And. You can see it's got a massive engineering room for like, you know, the engineers. <laughs> right? So we've got our all of our goodies in behind the sealed glass containers there. Uh, we can get in there, but I mean, it's just to add more if we want, if we need to. At this point, we shouldn't need to. So, yeah, this is a another large room we got to decorate. This, so this will be engineering. Um, now, what we do need to actually add in here, we need a three by three by three for the for the shield generator. So we might have to move some of this stuff around. The fuel tanks are potentially going to have to move. So we'll have to think about that. Because we can put the shield generator in here because it doesn't have a shield generator and it needs one. Because it's a cool ship. So here's another area I don't know really what to do with. 
Another large... I'm thinking this is like crew quarters. Um, we can flesh this out. And I don't I don't know. I don't know. We can't go anywhere else from here, can we? No, okay. And then... Up. There's nothing else down, is there? I mean, did I miss anything? I might have missed another level. I, think I, I don't think so, though. So, crew quarters. And then... This leads up to the SV dock. So there you go, you can see the uh, you can see that now. Okay. So <clears throat> when there's more light it looks a little better. And we can texture it up to look better. We also have to uh, Is just playing around with some sort of something. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, I want to make some connectors for these nacelles. And we got to see what sort of... Let's take a look. What do we got in the way of statistics here? So we'll fire on the engines, the thrusters here. We'll fire on the thrusters, and then we'll take a look at the statistics. So 33. <laughs> Massive! But we're out in space. Um, so we got to keep that in mind. we got to keep that in mind. We're out in space. But 33 is a pretty freaking solid number. 35 forward and back. Okay. So that, that makes me feel happy. Uh, we are going to go through fuel like freaking crazy with this thing. So that doesn't really make me happy, but whatever. Okay. So I guess what we can do, let's, um, let's put as much, we might as well. Oh, can we not? Are we too far away? Are we too far away? We are too far away from the base. Oh yeah, we're like 200 meters. Okay. So maybe what I should do is fly right over top. Yeah. So let's move this thing. It's a bit of a beast. Um, yeah, with gravity, I'm going to be down to the bottom anyway. That's fine. Actually, the gravity... We should be able to turn the gravity on. Let's, uh... Gravity generator. Let's turn that on. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Much better. <laughs> Okay, we still got to do something about lighting in here too. Like really, this is a very unfinished vehicle. It's just basically a hull and engines, right? So, um, but it, it is functional as a flying sealed vessel with constructor room and, you know, but we got to, we got to, we got to sort it out because it's not set up yet. We're going to get the grow plots in here. I'm going to actually be stripping a bunch of these light I don't think I'm gonna go for the whole grow pot craziness here because we can just we could go crazy I think what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna do one layer of grow plots along the back walls of each one oh. yeah <laughs> um, so I'm gonna remove these ones uh, in the meantime we were moving we're gonna move right so I think we only got the one cockpit here. We gotta go up to the top for that, right? Oops. Ugh. Turn my jetpack off there. Much easier. Yeah, go right to the top. So this is why I have this 
here right now because this is kind of like a a quick a fairly quick route into the yeah I know the visibility is not great from this cockpit but um, that's just the way it is turn that on Okay, can we steer? Nope, so the RCS are turned off. Where are the RCS? Under R for RCS. We have 14 T2. <laughs> okay, let's turn those on. Okay, so now it moves pretty good. I mean, For a, for a class four, that's probably going to be class six by the time we finish equipping it. It's not bad. Could almost use more RCS, to tell you the truth. I'm going to have to throw more RCS in it. It's a little sluggish. 14 T2s just aren't quite enough. It's, I mean, it's not bad. It's totally usable right now, uh, but I think that's going to be. It's a little, it's a little slow and sluggish for me. I, I like it to be a little bit more responsive. So, okay, so let's just get this thing over top, and um, yeah, I gotta. I have to set up all the ramps with with some uh, sensors and stuff, but realistically, it's not a horrible looking ship. We got to make connectors for the uh, nacelles so that they're not just floating out in midair. I don't really like that look. I want them, even if it's just fake. I don't care. It just. And then, yeah, I mean, it's not too bad, right? <laughs> It's not too bad. So basically, the nacelles have all the engines. Um, I think they have all the RCSs too. I might have to throw some up in the uh, fuselage. Okay, so let's get this. Whoops, get this right over the base here so that we can transfer stuff. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I think what I want to do is come down real hard and smash into my base. There we go. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Actually, not quite. There, we'll level off. Uh, okay, so that should be that should be just right, right there, right? Or will it be? Let's see. No, I think we'll drop too far so if we you'll you'll see what I'm saying in a second okay I think that's about right there so let's turn the thrusters off that's fine okay Okay, so we need some oxygen. So let's get uh, oxygen. Where the heck was that? That was water. Camel shock evolved. 0.5. Um, yeah, I already got a bunch of them labeled and stuff, but they're coming down. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but you're coming down. Uh... Let's just put, no, actually I got it, I, here, let's do this. Camel shack vault over here. We go into the oxygen, and then from here we go into the base. There we go. And, ooh, yikes. She's got a lot of oxygen capacity. I guess we're going to be making some more right away. Holy crap, what, um, a 
Holy crap, it needs 12,000 to fill. It's almost going to drain the tanks right now. Just turning on the oxygen. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Um, I'm not sure what one MPU mega power unit <laughs> is, I guess. It's got two big T2 generators. That's all it, that I, that, that's actually all it needs because the, um, it's consumption. Wow. So that's a concern there. 12,980 CPU. So really, and it's hardly got any, it doesn't even have weapons in it yet. So they're going to have to fix that because that's, that's not going to work for CVs. 75, unless there's a way to upgrade your CPU level. There currently is not, so I'm not actually even going to worry about the CPU thing. Until they actually sort that out, I'm not going to worry about it. <clears throat> okay, so we've got the warp drive, we've got a Pentaxa tank. Like this thing will fly and warp right now and has oxygen and you know, um, gravity, it has all the basic necessities. Um, it just needs to be fleshed out better, especially with the cargo situation. And then we'll put in the um, shield generator too. So let's get to work. Now I think, how do I get down all the way? Does this drop me out of the... No. So if I wanted to, I could like take this elevator, right? I got to get used to the layout of this uh, ship here. I think this one will take me all the way out. Up and down. Yep. Ow! Really? <laughs> I didn't think it was that far. Okay. Whatever. Uh, oh, man. Falling off my SV, I took more damage than falling all the way from my CV. <laughs> happy, happy. Joy, joy. Let's go heal up. <laughs> Okay, so we need to make a whole bunch of cargo, cargos. We need cargos. No, we need um, cargo extensions and controllers. So let's do that. We're gonna need oxygen too. So let's. Uh, da, 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 da. We want. That's blocks. That's what we want to put. Ooh, maybe not. Jeez. Well, we, at least we have some medical devices because we need to set up a medical center in there. Has no medical center. Uh, there's the shield. The hull shield T1. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to build... Does, do we have any car cargo controllers made? No. Uh, unless Blocks 2 has stuff. Nope. That's just all. That's fine. Okay, so blocks and then we want blocks <laughs> SV ammo so it's going to need all it's going to need an ore and wood we're going to need an ammo one And then we're going to need, oh God, at least four standard controllers, right? Uh, and then, oh, I'm thinking at this point, a hundred, probably. 
because the ore and wood, we want that maxed right out to uh, 320. We're going to figure that out somehow. And then the the ammo, it's not going to have to be huge, but it's going to have a few extensions. And then the other four controllers, I mean, I want, I want probably two of them to be max out for max out for blocks and then the other two will be like mats uh, mats and 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 something else i don't know so not quite as big okay and then what else do we need we we need the we've got the shield generator so we need to move stuff upstairs and we need oxygen so let's make a bunch of oxygen and how much water do we got left? Lots. Tons. There's tons down on the planet to go get too. So let's um, make a bunch of oxygen here. Make, uh, well, we're going to need more than that, right? Let's make 100 bottles or 100 rounds which is two each so that'll that should make us 200 bottles that should make 200 bottles for us and yeah because the the cv is going to like take three quarters of it right away okay so we've got that cooking up while it's doing that let's go it up and start removing stuff So this needs to be sorted out here too. I don't like this. This is going to be a little bit annoying. Um, oh yeah, I didn't realize I had, I had docking. So I think what I want to do is probably put like a turret or something behind there right, to seal it up instead, maybe. I mean, there's going to be, we're going to be putting turrets all over this freaking thing, but. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's get the cargo sorted out so that we can actually start constructing and using this thing properly. So I think let's connect to the base so we want blocks okay there we can take our jetpack off now and then no I went the wrong way <laughs> see see already turned around um, you know what, there is enough. I saw that we had enough made now, so let's... There, we can turn the oxygen on now. That's all I was aiming for here. There we go. Okay, excellent. So, yeah, I think I want to remove all this, and I'm going to put all these out in the cargo bay, because I want to put the heavy extension controllers in here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's do this. We're going to take the whole thing down. And we're going to be removing should we do an extension one here and an extension one there? Uh, okay, let's get these things out of here. Ridiculous. Six. Don't need six. 
two is just fine. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to paint him behind there first, right? I wouldn't mind getting the green, doing the, doing the generic texture at least. So let's, we've got our gun here. So that would be the, I think it's this one. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was that. Maybe not, though. Uh, I can't tell now. Uh, let's try it. And then, oh yeah, green. Oh, that looks right, yep. Yeah. Clean this up a bit here before we uh, put down the other stuff. Okay. So, hmm. Clean that up. There. That looks better. Uh, we needed to get, you know what? Here, let's pop these guys off then. And we'll clean that up. There. So now what I want to do is one side be construction. We've got a bunch of cargo and then over here maybe the medical. Because I'm thinking in the garden area is going to be where the lunchroom is. I'm going to set that up near the center because I'm going to be pushing the garden all the way to the back with glass walls for each section of the garden. I think it'll look cool. Um, okay. So down the center, I want to keep this open as an open walkway between doors. So let's lay this out then. So we had, uh, we're not connected to that. We're connected to the base blocks. So let's lay two of these advanced constructors back down. And we want, um, you know what I'm going to do? One, two, one, two, one, two. So, okay. So if we do one, two, and then right beside it here, I think, too. There we go. Actually, I should have spun that around. But I like this interface right here, though, so that kind of looks cool. I'm going to keep that. Okay. Paint this up. <clears throat> And then, hmm, let's get the cargo containers. So we've got container controllers and the extensions. We'll do the ore and ammo later. This is going to be the four controllers in here. So two, oh, you know what? You know what? We can probably do the ore. Around. We could probably do it along the ceiling or something. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But for now, let's get these in. And uh, that. Can we actually change the shape of these? No. Okay. Okay. Since we can't change the shape of it, I'm not going to worry about changing the shape of it then. Oops. Get that in. Okay. So what size is that? 
64,000. Hmm. I think I'd like that a little bit bigger. And if we contour it, Or we could just um, you know what we'll just put two here and then we can do yeah because the other one's gonna be up against there so that's fine okay so let's do the same thing here we had that there so that's gonna be one two Three, four, five, six, seven, and then two more here. And oh, come on, right there. Okay, so what is that? Eighty thousand. That's not bad for construction stuff. And then. I just don't want to throw this thing way out of balance, right? But I don't think it will because it's such a big... We're going to be in space mostly anyway, right? Like, we're not going to be flying around planets a lot. Except to drop off a giant combat HV, I guess, <clears throat> when I build it. In the meantime... Let's get the ore and you know what? We can finish, we can do this, we can do this. We can do, just thinking how we should do this so that it, it doesn't look stupid. Let's get uh, medical devices. I mean, realistically, I should use a different area for the medical. I just don't know what to, else to do here besides um, all the c containers. So, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of torn what I want to do here. I think in the meantime, we'll just duplicate what we got over there at least. Okay. Oops. Come on. There we go. Ah. Oh, come on. Stop it. There. Thank you. Okay, and then <sighs> and we, we could still pull off medical air somehow. Sure. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, construction. Okay, so What do we do? Do we do the... Actually here, let's put... Let's put... Um, 80, that would be 88. 96. I don't think they're gonna need it over there. That's fine. So we, although, hmm. No, I want these ones to be exceptionally large. So let's not use this as a uh, medical. What we're going to do is we're going to bring that out. And then we're going to bring that 
that out. Oh yeah, what size are those? Those are 144,000 a piece. I mean, that's pretty good. But I think we can keep going. Now, I kind of buried the controller, didn't I? Let's redo those. Let's move those out. I like how I like being able to walk up to things and still accessing them by hitting F. So, as much as I can, I I, I don't really want to bury these. Okay. Um. Hmm. We're going to have to move that light, definitely. Let's do that. Okay. Oops. That in. And, I mean, we could make one that was just massive there. Two eighty eight to th that'd be like pretty close to three twenty. No, that's okay. We'll make two of them that are massive. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Oops. Okay, and um, container controller for ore and wood. So let's get these out. Let's get this out. Get the ammo one out. Okay, and then. So should I just pop? I wish it would tell you. It doesn't tell you how many are there. I should have counted. That's fine. Let's pop this one out. Take a look. Pop this out. And we're going to pop this out. Okay. And, oops. Forty. It's not bad. Not quite what I wanted, though. So let's keep going. Let's knock this out. Okay. Regardless, this is the max size. Whatever this is going to end up is going to be the max size so what's this one 288 that's pretty close that's pretty close to maxed out you know i'm not going to nitpick too much about that that's just 20 that's like 32k short not that big of a deal okay so let's um, grab that one that I zapped off. Get that sorted out there. There we go. Okay, so now we've got our cargo controllers. We've got a decent amount of cargo that we can, you know, so an input output for the for the um, 
constructors and then you know more storage we can have blocks and general storage I guess okay so now what we want to do is get the ore and wood one going so I think I think what I'll do is I'll turn this big chunk here into the ore and wood So let's have it facing here. We'll do, which one was it? That's ammo, that's the orange wood, okay. So, like this. Should we have it really close? No, that seems crowded if we do it. Here and then two that in that in, oh, we ran out. We ran out, so that should be like eighty eight, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay, so we need a bunch. A <laughs> hundred was not enough. Okay. Okay. That's fine. We can, um, you know what? We can actually go like, no, do I want to do that right now? No, I don't want to do that right now. Let's, I don't want to do anything until I group it. So we'll go make some more real quick. Way do I go? <laughs> down, down, right. Okay. So let's cook up some more cargo. What were you? You were doing oxygen. Okay, good boy. And then you were doing cargo extensions, but you need to do more. So at least like 20. Oh, sorry, I had to have some sweet tea. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, man. Gimme, gimme, gimme. So let's go get those installed and then we'll call it an episode. Next episode we'll continue on. This is going to be a few episodes of me uh, working on this thing. Let me tell you, it's a lot of freaking work to do. It's like a big giant husk of a base, right? So whew, it's just, it's almost a daunting task, even though that the bulk of the ship is already built. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I totally went the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Why do I keep doing that? Why do I keep doing that? I keep forgetting that you come up here and this is the middle of the ship. Not the back of it. Okay. And we have... Some more cargo extensions by now. Let's take a look. Where are you? I, I'm looking right at them, aren't I? There they are. Okay, so let's let's do this. Okay, let's get this in. Actually, it's kind of hard to do from standing here. Let's do the uh, drone. Much easier to manipulate. A larger space. Okay, so mm, what do we got here? Hundred and 
28,000. That's it. I'd have to transfer stuff to the other containers all the time. I mean, that's doable, but not really ideal. Not really what I wanted. Uh, if we go... way to like this and then I guess it's not so bad we can do the the harsh corners that's fine I was going to smooth it out but it doesn't when, if you change the shape you don't get as much storage so Let's see, what do we got now? 192, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's definitely better. I won't have to constantly be emptying the... I won't have to constantly empty it out. Okay, so we've got some real decent storage sized containers. We just don't have a lot of storage slots at this point. I can't, I can't remember how they... I think they scale up to one... 28 a piece um, so I mean that's decent that's like two four six eight ten regular cargo boxes but I think out back is where we really want to stick the rest of the cargo so I'm gonna leave the episode here uh, we're gonna continue on I'm going to put, next episode, we're going to continue on putting all the cargo in and getting all that sorted out. And then we can move, like, resources over and and stuff. But I, I want to continue to use the base to do all the um, actual construction because it doesn't cost anything because it's all solar powered. So <clears throat> until next episode, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.